Well, we had a good run. It's been nice knowing you. It's okay. It's okay. You'll find a new home, I promise. Okay, uh, guys. <clears throat> good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Luke with Premium Aquatics. Thank you for stopping by. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we are making a change. The clear four inch drop in filter sock has expended. I think it was actually a week or two ago. Um, I ripped this out. Uh, the filter roller expended itself and I just put in a sock for the time being because I have something new to put in here, but it wasn't here yet. So it's here. Hooray. This is the dirty fleece. See if I can get it to focus here. Um, you can definitely tell it's dirty. It's not caked black or anything like that, but that's okay. We don't really want it in the system long enough to where it is being caked black, but you can definitely see how dirty that is. I feel like I should be, you know, like it uh, feels like a uh, film, roll of film, because you can see those lines and uh, the frames, but you can definitely see it's dirty. Uh, there's a lot of it, and it definitely did its job correctly. Look at that. Oh, man. It's just everywhere. Now, I did let it dry, which is why it's so sticky, but, I mean, you can definitely see this is a ton of filter. I feel it. Let's go TP. Okay, who, who, yeah, let's, let's go TP someone with this. That'll be a nice surprise for someone. It actually doesn't smell too terrible after it's dried. Seaweed? Like seaweed. Doesn't actually smell too bad when it's dried. Let's go TP someone. Anyways, so, um, real nice, but this filter sock has got to go. It's noisy, and I've got to change it out every couple days, otherwise it gets gunked up. Now we can take this out, give it a good home. Um, we're going to see how I decide what to do with it. Would you like this? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, guys. Comment if you if you think this would be a good fit for you. Um, we're going to uh, we're going to take this out. We, we have taken it out. The filter. This fleece actually lasted a lot longer than that first one. Um, I don't remember what how long it's been. A couple months, two three months at least. Um, but this actually worked really great this round. I didn't have any issues with it. Um, it lasted a lot longer than the first one. I think again because I just had to get used to how it was set up. Um, the only caveat that um, I dealt with with changing it up was on this upper roll when you're first installing the fleece and getting it up on this top roll is it kept wanting to spin and it wouldn't grab tight. So what I ended up basically doing was I just took a little bit of super glue and put a dab of glue on each side and made it so it was gonna stick whether it liked it or not. Since you get a new one each time, I didn't care about that little uh, spindle. It'll just get trashed anyway. So I glued it. Then I didn't have to worry about it slipping whatsoever. So a uh, recommendation for that. But beyond that, uh, pumps a beast. Sensor worked great. Uh, the fleece itself cleaned out very well. Um, nice small unit. But now we're going to take this out. We're going to take out the bracket with the filter sock. Man, it is night and day how noisy it is now compared to uh, when this was installed. So... I am excited to get something back in here so it's a little bit quieter. I don't mind it, but it'd be nice. So, say goodbye, guys. Let me show you what we're replacing it with this round. This is the Clara C SK5000. Uh, we're going to be putting this in there, see how it does, how long the fleece lasts comparatively, um, see how it holds up compared to what the clear did for me, and see how it filters. Uh, this guy looks phenomenal as well but we've got a little bit of work to do to get it set up so let's open it up take a look at what's inside what you get with this i already know real quick first roll is free hooray so let's uh let's open it up i'll show you what it is we'll get it assembled and we'll uh get it installed here clarity sk5000 gen 2 beautiful looking box crystal clear water on a roll let's get this opened up uh, obviously, like most uh, filter rollers, 
we are getting cleaner water because uh, the micron sizes are usually very, very uh, small compared to your filter socks. Uh, so you're going to have, you know, no more detritus, less organic waste, less load on your skimmer, obviously reduced maintenance because uh, you're not dealing with the filter socks and crystal clear water. Here's our uh, quick start guide assembly. Oh man, look how nice that is. Pictures. Much nicer than having to, a lot of pictures. Okay, uh, so let's, um, we've got assembly required to do. So let's get this open. Here's our first fleece filter that is free with the unit. This guy is massive. Uh, as you can tell, quite a bit larger than the four inch, but this is also suited for um, larger flow. So this will handle uh, more flow than what that clear is. So why we get a larger fleece out of this. Then we have three boxes of items here, which assume is going to be all the acrylic. Box one, box two, that's an impressive roller here. The guy is a monster, and it's nice. Um, it's nice because if you look on here, uh, hopefully you can tell there. It's oh, you definitely can tell. Um, it's ribbed, so it's going to help grab onto that fleece a lot nicer than you know a smooth spindle would. Uh, so that actually is really nice. Uh, easy to move there. Pop that on. Power supply. Our float switch, which this does use your standard. Uh, your standard float switch as to an optical sensor with the clear. And then lastly, our third box with more parts. So we've got quite the setup to do here. Let's get this started. Let's uh, pull out our instruction guide. Let's get this set up. This is actually the motor. This is not only the one roller, but it's the entire motor. So quite a bit larger as well. Alrighty, it is set up, it is running. I had to go to the hardware store to get a few pieces of plumbing because the tubing that I have was not long enough to uh, get into that elbow that was supplied with it. So I had to get a couple of PVC pieces and I had a hose barb thankfully for the tubing. So it's all connected up, it's running, looks great. Um, it is bigger than the four inch clear, very clearly, even with the uh, bracket for the clear, this is larger, it's a little bit wider because this filter roll is so much larger. Uh, you know, instead of the four inch, this is six inches wide. The roll's 82 feet long, so you got a very good uh, length of, of fleece going through the system, so it should last a very long time and has bigger capacity since it's a larger roll. Um, this will handle up to, or I should say, this will handle down to 20 microns, so you're going to get great filtration uh, and efficiency out of it. This particular one, the 5000, can handle up to 1,320 gallons per hour running through it, so if I wanted to, I could probably even open up my drain just a little bit more and let more flow come down if I decide I want to, but um, I don't think I'm going to yet, unless I decide I want to push my return pump a little bit harder, but I don't think I'm going to go that route. This thing looks like it's going to be a beast. Uh, we'll, I'll be interested to see how long this roll will last um, in compare to uh, what the clear will last. And then eventually, you know, we'll try probably Bubble Magus out as well. And, uh, you know, maybe some others and see what we get out of that and kind of uh, throw them all against each other, see what we get. So um, those are definitely some things to keep in mind. Obviously, we have the float switch as opposed to the optical sensor. Um, and then we do have, as well, just like the clear had, we have a little controller and there is an audible alarm on there. You can turn it off, you can turn it on, um, and then you can do a manual turn mode. And then there are some uh, troubleshooting uh, LEDs that will happen if there's an issue like a jam or something like that, um, that you can take a look at and figure out what's going on with it according to the, uh, the, the driver. So um, I'll take you off here. We'll take a look at it, see what we got going on and uh, go from there. Okay, so let's get you off here and so you can take a look at it a little bit closer here in the sump. Nemini is doing well. He's getting back underneath because it's about time for bedtime for him. Uh, but here you can see the Clarice, uh very big roll. Um, then this is our empty roll that is going to be spinning. Goes uh, like you normally would see. Comes down, 
cross some rollers back up all the way here around the outside and then this will spin into the inside clockwise as we're looking at it. Um, once this is filled up, there's a little spring roll here, uh, corrugated roll that will take off and then we can compress that and get that filter roll off that, uh, this card, this corrugated piece and we'll be able to use it again. So that's how that'll work. But uh, really easy setup actually. Uh, once you get everything put together, we have this little triangle piece. This is actually, you know, if you were feeding or you want to do something um, with your system, you can actually open that up as a little bit of a bypass. The water will actually shoot out of here. Um, I've got a little few carbon pieces in there, so if I open that up, those carbon pieces will shoot out that side. And then obviously we have our uh, PVC pipe that goes right through there with the cut slit in it uh, where the, all the water comes out. On the back side here then is where we have the drain going into the elbow. Hopefully you can take the, you can see that okay. Had to take off my skimmer cup because it was going crazy uh, with all the stuff I was kicking up with uh, moving everything around and yada yada yada. So really nice unit. Uh, I actually really like it. It looks very nice, very clean. So we'll see again what it does and uh, compare it to the clear and see how they kind of uh, match up with each other. We'll see how it works, how the motor does for me, see if I have any issues, um, and obviously I'll let you know. But uh, that is it for me, guys. I'm going to get out of here. Have a great weekend as always. Uh, keep an eye out on the website. Sign up for the newsletter. If you don't, go onto our website. You'll see a little part that you can sign up for our newsletter. You want to stay up to date coming up because, as we all know, Thanksgiving's around the corner. And as much as we love food, we love football. Also, we love sales. So we're going to be having some great sales locally as well as online for those local. Keep a very big eye because we're going to have some great giveaways on that day and some other deals going on. So make sure you uh, sign up for that newsletter. We'll try and put out some uh, hinters and feelers and all that good stuff. So uh, if you haven't, like and subscribe. Hit that bell for the notifications so you stay the most up-to-date on this system as well as our other videos. We will catch you next weekend. Peace, guys.